Well, greetings. This is Trev from OnlinePClearning.com. In this video tutorial, we're going to have a look at how you can use VLOOKUP in a user form to fill in or autofill in an address block on your user form. Common thing that needs to be done can be done very easily by just using a little bit of calculation in our user form. So if we were to call our user form here, let's pull it over from our second screen, there's the user form, and we were to put in an incorrect ID we're looking up from the ID and then click outside, it says it's incorrect. So we're checking our ID first. If we put in a correct ID, which we have here, just click in the next box into here and it auto fills. Now we're using the application worksheet function to be able to do this and then calling that the VLOOKUP function. It's quite easy to do and this is just the first of several tutorials. I'm going to show you eventually how you can do some quite complex calculations within a user form. All right. So if we wanted to then send this information to the database, we just click add to the database. It's been sent. We'll close it up. Let's just check that. Here it is here. There's the information we just sent over. All right. How do we create this little application that you'll find handy in your larger applications? Well, let's get going. Alt and F11 to open the Visual Basic Editor. Here is our VBA editor over here. And we have to create a user form. Here it is here. I've called the user form FRM lookup. To create a user form, what do you do? You just go insert user form and you would insert your user form. When you insert your user form, it gives you the user form and generally the toolbox appears, which is here and enables you to have all the controls that you need. For this little application, you're just going to need a label and a text box and a command button. Those three there. All you do to put them on is just click on, pull them over here into your user form. Now, you can see that's the one I've just put in, user form one. We've actually named our user form and done a few little things with it. I'll take you through the user form and what we need to do. So here's our user form. Let's go through it bit at a time. I'll zoom in on this. So first of all, we're going to have a look at the user form properties. Right click and choose properties. And we'll have a look at what properties that we're assigning to this user form. Okay, so here's the user form. We've got it outlined there, you see that? The name is FRM Lookup. Look up. Here it is here because we're using the uh, lookup function. And we've got a few things in here. For the caption, we've put in VBA Lookup in user form. And that's what you see up the top. Then I've put in a, a label, which I've called Auto Address Filler. And we've put the background blue to that. And we've just changed the font style and aligned it down here to the center. After that, we have labels over here. ID, company, address, suburb, which I've spelt which I've spelt wrong and I've just changed there now. So we have suburbs spelt right, state, postcode. It can be anything you want because we're looking up. I'll show you exactly what we're looking up. We're looking up this data here. It's a little table that we set up with all our client's information. We have a client has an ID and then the company name and then the address and the suburb and the state. And all we're doing is putting this ID into one text box and then looking up the information and adding it to the text boxes in the user form. Well, let's go back here again. Let's have a look at the text box. I've called these text boxes because I want to loop through them. I've had a naming convention here. I've just called them Reg 1, Reg 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now I've also put in a tool tip here, Control Tip Text. You notice that there for our first which says type in your ID and then you could put then click in the next text box. So when you hover over that first text box, it's going to give you that tool tip, which you'll see in a moment. That's all there is to it. Two command buttons, one here which I've called CMD send and another one which is CMD close. Let's have a look at the code that I put in to cause this all to happen. Click inside, we'll close this out and we might even maximize our VBA editor. Okay, so first of all, the CMD close button is just the words unload me, which will unload the user form. Now we want to have a look at first of all the after update event for the first text box. Reg1 was the name of our first text box and the event that we're using is after update. In other words, when we finished updating, how do we know when we're finished? Well, we're clicking in the next box. After that happens, we want this code to run. The first thing we're doing, we're saying if worksheet function count if range BB equals Reg1 value. In other words, if the ID is in there, then well, it's saying if it's in there, if it equals zero, if it's not in there, I should say, then we want to stop the process happening because we don't have that ID in our system. So we have a message box, this is an incorrect ID. We're clearing the value from reg one, exiting the sub, 
and ending our conditional decision-making if statement. Okay, so if we get past this if statement, then this is going to happen. What we're going to do with me, and a lot of people ask me, what does me mean? Well, me is a reference to an object. The object is the user form. Me is an abbreviation. Rather than using the whole user form name, we can just say me. So with me, reg 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, we're using application worksheet function, the lookup. Now notice in here, because our ID is numerical, I've used the data type C long. If you were using text or text and numbers, you would delete the C long and the bracket there, and you would just have VLOOKUP me reg one. So we're always looking up what's in VREG one in reg one, and it's uh, we know that it's going to be numerical because of that data type there. But what we do is now go to our table. Here's our table. We're looking up a range, and I'll show you that range in a moment. It's a named range called lookup. First we look up column two, three, four, five, and six. The zero means false, which means that we want an exact match. If we were to put one in there, it would get the nearest value. Well, we don't want that. We want an exact match. So we're putting in zero, or you could type in false. That's how it works. It's as simple as that. To send our controls, I'm using a bit of code that I use right throughout my website which is just looping through the controls. We've got six controls on there. CNUM equals six, and then that we find the next available row to send it to, in other words, the next blank row in our database, and we send the data off. So we just loop through the six controls and pop the data into the next column over. So we leave it the same row, zero here, but next column, one. We just keep skipping over. And then after that, we use the same little loop, except this time we want to clear the values from the control. So that's how we send the data. One thing I didn't show you is that we have a named range here for our lookup table. All right, so we want to have a look at the named range for this. I've put in a dynamic named range here. You could just use a static named range, so scroll over it, click into here and type in your named range, but I've used a dynamic named range. It's called lookup, and there it is there. There's the named range. I'll pop that up on the website. But as I say, you can use a static named range if you want. That just would enable the data to move up and down, basically. And again, this will be on the website. Well, one small piece of information we just need to mention before we finish here. We've shown you how to set up your, uh, your user form. Now in the modules, we just need to add a very small piece of code to call the user form. It's called show me, it's FRM lookup. That's the name of this user form, dot show. And we assign that to this uh, shape that we put onto our worksheet. And of course, by just going assign macro, and then we would go click in there and go OK. And that will enable us then to be able to, when we click in there, have the user form show. It's not a hard tutorial, this one, quite simple to be able to do. Pops our user form up. If we add invalid data, it uh, corrects us as soon as we click in the next box. If we add the right data, it automatically fills whoops, that's wrong, it automatically is going to fill our text boxes with the auto date filler. Well, this is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. I hope you found that useful. I'll put the template up on the website along with the short article and the code to show you how to do it. Thank you very much for listening. And once again, I hope you have a really great day and bye for now.